Well, for the 10th straight year, parole officers in this area are visiting convicted sex offenders as part of Operation Halloween. Today, CBS 6 photojournalist Brian Ruderman went along for a ride with one of the officers to see just what he did to make sure that your trick-or-treaters were safe. The county sheriffs might stop by. You're just expected that you answer the door for any law enforcement that knock on your door, okay? It's about um, 250 registered sex offenders in the Hudson Valley region. We're going to visit them and make sure they're home for curfew. It's hot. As you know, it's Halloween, right? Don't answer your door for trick-or-treaters. But typically, they're pretty compliant on a day like today. We'll look for excessive amounts of candy. Um, we'll uh, observe whether or not they're opening the door for trick-or-treaters. Even uh, regardless of whether that trick-or-treater is with an adult or not, um, that's something we frown upon. Can't uh, greet any trick-or-treaters. Can't have any costumes or Halloween-related items. It's, it's tough, but uh, I do the right thing. I do everything I'm supposed to. And just go by the rules. The reason that we have conditions, there's people out there that are dangerous um, to children. So I don't blame parole or anybody else. I put myself in this position, so it's just another day.